Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be um, talking to you about sheet mask. I'm going to be covering the sheet mask that I have used up in the month of July and August. And I also have some sheet masks that were sent to me for PR through Octoly, so I did not um, purchase these. And then I also have some rinse off clay mask that I want to talk to you about that again were sent to me um, from the company. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the three um, clay masks that were sent to me from Papa Recipe. And they look like this right here. And this was sent to me through Octoly. So I did not purchase these. Um, they were sent to me for review purposes. So that is why I have all three. They are, they run around $20, between $19 and $20. They are all a clay type um, mask, rinse off type mask. And I'm going to start with probably the one that is more geared toward um, my skin type, which is dry and mature. And this is the eggplant and it is for clearing. It's supposed to help really get out and clean out the pores, but yet it's a clay mask that doesn't ever completely dry down. So it doesn't get so dry and tight that you feel like it's just sucking out all the dehydrate or the hydration out of your face. Um, you'll see a little clip on the side of me putting it on, what it looks like, but it is a really pretty um, purple color. I don't know if you'll be able to see the purple of that, but you should be able to see that in the clip. Um, it does have um, some fine walnut powder in it for exfoliation. So once you put it on, you would leave it on for 15, 20 minutes and then put some water with it and just kind of start moving it around to exfoliate or you can just rinse it off or you can just um, take a warm washcloth and wipe it away, which is how I like to do it because I don't really like using um, shell particles in my scrubs. I, th I just, I don't know, I just think with the, that they have the, you know, the jagged edges on them and I'm just afraid it's gonna cut my skin. So I don't particularly care for it products that have the shell type particles in it for exfoliation. I'm going to read to you off the website what it says this is for. is for a sensitive skin. Um, it's used to help stop acne and blemishes in their tracks. It has um, lupel in it. I know for sure what that is. And granulated walnut to create a gentle exfoliation. And the mask never dries out, which it doesn't, and it does stay creamy. I can definitely tell you that. I've used it several times. And then the next one that I have is for tea tree. It's the tea tree, and this would definitely be for pore control, um, for irritated skin, acne prone skin. And let's see what it says about it, if I can find it. It is. Um, it's for irritated, itchy, and red skin. Tea tree is a known antimicrobial um, and antibacterial that will calm the skin and also help to shrink breakouts and uh, has a really pretty um, green tint to it. Again, it works the same as the eggplant where this one does dry down. And then again, you would to um, We'll rinse it off or you could take a warm washcloth and wipe it off. Um, I prefer using a warm washcloth because I use these over the sink and to me when I start trying to splash something on my face I just make a huge mess so I prefer wiping it off with a washcloth. But you'll see this in action also in the um, clip beside and it helps to absorb excess oil and um, Helps to soothe irritation skin. It has red bean scrub granules in it. Is that what that says? Yeah, red bean scrub granules. And that refined keratin for fresh and smooth skin is what it says here on the thing. But it, yes, it does have some small particles in there. I was trying to see if what the red bean is. But that's what it looks like on the hand. I guess I should have done the the eggplant one. 
I will tell you though with the eggplant one, be careful with that. If you get it, if you use it in your shower or your sink because you'll get purple stuff everywhere. Let me do show you what the eggplant one looks like. And this is what it looks like. And it definitely is really, really creamy. <laughs> yeah. I just wished it I just wish it didn't have those um, walnut particles in there. I probably would like it a whole lot better if it didn't have the walnut particles. Okay, so now I have this on my hand. But anyway, so now I'm going to talk about the one that is my favorite out of the three. And this is the one that is called the seawater. The seawater one. And the reason why I like this one is it is a clay mask. Um, it's not too drying, which is good because I have dry skin. But once you, it dries and you're getting ready to take it off, you splash some water onto it and then move it around and it turns into a cleanser. So you can use it as a clay mask and then you can use it as a cleanser. You can use it strictly as a cleanser. And I just think it makes the skin look really, really pretty after it's done. I don't know what's in it and I'm really surprised that this would have been my favorite one because I really thought the eggplant one would have been my favorite just because it's a little bit more geared toward dry skin. But I really like the sea, the seawater one. And this one, it says it's supposed to help for enlarged pores. Um, it's made with seawater for a fine, gentle, clarifying effect. And it's a dual purpose product that also acts as a cleansing foam. I really do like it as a cleansing foam. There was a couple mornings that I didn't really have time to put it on and leave it on for 15, 20 minutes. So I just put a little um, just a little little dab and just use it as my morning cleanse and I really liked it that way so let me let me get the this one open this one's white and it is probably out of the three it's the thickest also and I'm just going to put a little dab right here so you can kind of see the consistency of all Three of those together but yes so this one is the seawater the tea tree and the um what was this one called eggplant i wanted to say pomegranate eggplant so anyway so thank you so much to papa recipe i really do like the papa Re recipe brand um, my friend annie got me kind of hooked on to their sheet mask so when i seen some things pop up on octoly that i could um apply for i was on it like chicken on a June bug but anyway let me um go get a wipe and get all this cleaned off and then we'll be coming back to talk about the sheet mask that I got from um Papa Recipe okay the next thing that I got from uh, Papa Recipe through Octoly were these um, sheet masks and these are the Bombay Fruitables and they're a new mask that they have come out with they have the their regular ones that you can get I think oh, look We'll have these a lot of times, and I think you can get them off of Amazon if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, these they sent to me, and these will run you around $3 a piece. And these are the two that I have used, and you'll see me using one of these um, here in the clip on the side. But um, basically, they just have a lot of fruits and vegetables in them that are really good for the skin. Um, they have a lot, a lot of essence in here. I mean, there's enough essence in here that when you open it, you can put your hand in there, put some on your face and on your neck, and then apply your, your um, sheet mask. And then you're going to have enough to put onto your decollete, onto your arms, onto your legs, onto your feet, wherever else you want, on your shoulders, and you'll, you'll be seeing me doing all that. And then when you take it off, I mean, I wore mine for like a good 20 to 25 minutes. It did not dry out. It was starting to get a little bit dry up here around the edge, but as far as for the most part, it was still pretty saturated and when I peeled it off there was still enough juice left into that mask itself that I was able to do my decollete again and my arms all over again I mean there was plenty of juice there's lots of juice in these things um, very nice it says it has a a line cell sheet and when you'll see I'm when I pull it out of the pack, I have to unfold it because it's not like, you know, these type of packs where it's just folded maybe once. 
This one was kind of rolled up, so it was a little bit difficult to unfold, um, but once I got it unfolded, I was able to position it onto the face. It had a nice fit to it. Um, was it too small? Was it too big? It just really fit nice. The um, sheet itself felt really good. It was almost like a, um, a gel consistency on it. So anyway, let's talk about the ones that I had. I did um, Pink Squeeze on the video, the demo. That's the one you're going to be seeing. It's the Vitality Mask. Then I had the Red Squeeze, which is for Intensive. Then I have the Green Squeeze for Relaxing. I'll probably use this one tonight. And um, Purple Squeeze, the Lifting, right here. Then we have White Squeeze for the Balancing the orange squeeze energy and the yellow squeeze is for brightening so let me um, pop on here to my computer and I'll tell you what some of the um, ingredients of those are okay so it says a juice in a mask. The benefits of fruits and vegetables are squeezed together for a beneficial mask void of any harmful ingredients. The sheet has superior adhesive, adhesion. Yes, I didn't find it. I didn't put my little mask holder on and I walked around this morning and did housework while I was waiting for that to um, lapse, my time to lapse on that. And I didn't find that it was slipping off or coming off so I definitely will agree with that. Um, it has it says it has a thick essence. Now I felt like the essence was a little bit runny. wasn't as thick as some essences that I have used on in sheet masks. So it was a little bit on the thinner side, in my opinion. But there was, but it could have also been because there was just so much essence in this little pack right here. This thing is just like full. Even the two that I have used, there's still enough essence left in there that I can use them um, use that essence in the morning as my essence step in my skincare so anyway let's talk about this one this is the orange this one has carrot pumpkin orange papaya and apricot to revitalize and energize fatigue skin and then the yellow I guess I should probably do these in order it might be easier than trying to Where's the green? The green, which is this one here, has broccoli, green tea, avocado, kale, and kiwi to soothe skin and replenish with moisture. So that was that one. And then we did the orange already. The purple squeeze, this one, has um, purple sweet potato. Has anybody ever heard of purple sweet potato? I have not. Um, I was feeding my little grandson. He's 10 months old and his mama puts in his diaper bag those little pouches that has the baby food in them and they can just suck it out. Anyway, on it was um, purple carrot. I never heard of purple carrot either. Hmm. Anyway, this has um, purple sweet potato, eggplant, beet, blueberry, and Bilberry. I never heard of bilberry either. And that's to firm and nourish sagging skin. Then the red squeeze is tomato, apple, pomegranate, uh, red currant to relieve stress and enhance skin condition. So, and this one did smell really good. I used this one last night. It was nice. And then we have the yellow squeeze, which would have Yuge, Yuge, mango, pineapple, the quat, and ginger to brighten dull skin. So there we go. Some of these ingredients I've never heard of. But they are, um, they have, I think each one has five different extracts in it. And then the pink one, the pink squeeze, this one, which is the one I used this morning has peach, grapefruit, lychee, um, and fig. That's supposed to soothe and vitalize irritated skin. 
And then the last one, which is the white squeeze, has cauliflower, potato, pear, coconut, and cabbage to balance damaged areas and smooth the skin texture. I don't know if I've ever seen a sheet mask that has cabbage. I wonder what that's going to smell like. I want to open it. I'll, I'll use it tonight. I want to open it and see what it smells like. Seeing that it has cabbage in it and cauliflower. Ugh. I also love cabbage, but I sure hate cooking it. Okay. Happy to report, does not smell like cabbage. Um, I'm, it has like a fruity smell, so maybe it's the pear. The pear is outweighing anything else. It says cauliflower, and then potato, and then pear in, in the ingredient list. Oh, it has coconut in it too. So that's probably why it's canceling out the... Um, the um, cabbage, it has ceramide in it. It has other ingredients other than the ones that I just told you. I don't want to mislead you and make you think that that's all that's in there. There's a whole slew of um, ingredients in there that I cannot pronounce. Some chemicals. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Okay, well, I'm happy to report that it does not smell like cabbage. It has almost more of a pear smell to it. So I'll use that tonight. Let me set that up there so it doesn't tip over. All right, so that was what I received in um, PR. So again, thank you so much to Octoly and to Papa Recipe for selecting me to receive those products and uh, to give them a try. And I hope that you um, benefited from the review of those. So now let's talk about some of the sheet, other sheet masks that I used for July and August. And we'll just get start right off with the Papa Recipe ones that I used, which, let's see, I know I have this one, which is a honey one. I thought I had, an, I thought I used another one. I don't have too many of them. And I've been kind of, um, I've been hoarding them a little bit because they're really nice. I really like it and I really like the honey. Um, my skin has been a little bit um, irritated here lately from using too much retinol on it, and um, which was my fault, but anyway. So definitely recommend this. I guess this is the only one I had was this one. But very hydrating, very moisturizing, very calming. Um, like a, if you're suffering from Maybe you did went overzealous with a, a chemical peel or with uh, your acids and you're needing something, your skin is like, ugh, stop, just back off for a minute. This is a good one. This is a good one to use for that. So definitely, and it's the Bombay Honey Mask. And then I have one here that I haven't used and it's the Bombay Black Honey Mask. I don't really know what the difference in the two is, but I really did like that very much so. And then, let me get out these, because what I did, I tried to concentrate those last couple months on if I had like two or three of the same mask of using those consistently so I could really benefit and reap the benefits of that type of sheet mask by using the same one several times in a row, um, the same kind. So I have this one here, which is the Oh, what brand is this? The skin. Oh, what one is this? I'll have. I'll have. I'll have it here on the annotation. But it's this one that is the Donkey Milk for healing. And then I had um, some here that I did for Aqua, that were for hydration. I think I had three of those. And um, this one was for healing. I really did like these. I think I like the healing ones better than I do the aqua. But I had three that I used each of those. And then I have, I think I used three of these and this is um, the C2O Natural Vitamin 21.5 Enhancing Sheet Mask for um, calming and moisturizing. Again, these were really good if you have are suffering from some irritation in your skin and just need something that's really calming and just real easy to use. And I have three of those from Olali. These are the are from Cosrx. The Holly 
holy moly, I'll get it out here, holy moly snail mask. I can't, I mean, any kind of snail mask you're going to benefit from. Snail excretion, 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 snail slime. Let's just say what it is. Snail slime is wonderful for your skin. And I, where did I see the picture of? Was it on Facebook or was it on Instagram where these girls are going in and getting these facials and what they're, they're doing is they're just putting the, these um, snails on their face, these big snails, and then just letting them slither all over their face and put that trail of slime directly from the snail onto their face. It looked freaky. If I can find a picture of it, I'll try and to remember to put it in, but oh, I don't know. I don't know if I could do a real one. And it wasn't just like one or two. I mean, their whole face was just like covered with these big snails and they were just climbing all over their face. I don't know. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> Even though I know snail slime is really good for um, your skin, <laughs> but I don't know if I would go to those kind of lengths to do that. I don't think I can. I don't know. Anyway, um, from Alicia Coy, I have the Natural Pearl um, Brightening and Glowing Effects Sheet Mask. Really good. Um, don't have anything. I like these because the, it's a pulp type mask sheet. The sheet itself, so it's a little bit thicker sheet mask. So they don't have as tendency to dry out as quickly as some of the thinner ones. So I do like those. Then I have the Jeju Natural um, Honey Mask, the Canola Honey Mask, and I had three of those. As you can see, I was really, I was just digging through all of my mask and finding anything that honey had, had that had honey in it. In it, I was pulling it out and just really going to town with those to um, get my irritated skin calmed down. And I have some more honey mask, and that's these right here for two, from Tuso Wong. The Pure Propolis Mask, um, one of my favorite honey masks is this one here. I think this one and the one from Papa Recipe, these two right here, probably my favorite honey mask that I used, whoops, during that time frame. Other than a, um, a rinse off one that I have that's from, that's I'm From, I think is the brand. Oh, that's so good. I talked about it in a favorites video once. But I may have to bring it back and talk about it again because I've been using it a lot too. Then I have these two for Myzon. This is the Enjoy Vital Up Soothing Mask for sensitive skin. I got these at Marshalls. These have Bella Lavender in them. I don't like the smell of lavender. I don't know why I bought these, but I did not enjoy them. Enjoy them just because of the smell. So, but if you don't mind lavender, you may like those, especially to use at night before you go to bed. Maybe help you sleep, but. To me, it just induced a headache and no, 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 no. My battery died. So I think I was talking about another honey mask. This is the Real Therapy Hydrogel Honey Bee Mask that I, um, I'm not for sure on the brand on this, but this was in one of my um, Pink Soul subscription boxes. I hadn't used this at all ever one of these kind and I really liked this. I want to get some more of these. Then I have some from the Peach and Lily brand. I have the Chubby Cheeks for lifting and plumping and then I have the reset button that is for soothe and restore. Definitely recommend these. Um, you can definitely get them from the Peach and Lily web website but Ulta has started carrying Peach and Lily also so if you can get your hands on these I do recommend those they're really nice and then I did a um, too cool for school sheet mask this is the egg cream mask for firming I personally like the hydration ones from too cool for school the best but this one was okay and I only had the one so I couldn't really use a whole bunch of it you know in a row to really see if it was doing any kind of firming but it was nice I have a couple that I use that are from Tony Moly. I have the I'm Real Cherry Blossom Mask Sheet and the Tea Tree. Both of them, these you can get these at Ulta and at the time I'm filming this, they were doing, if you bought, was it three sheet masks, you got one free and Tony Moly was included in that sale, but you can definitely find 
um, Holt Look will have them. Um, you can get them on Amazon, but Tony Moly is a good, a good sheet mask if you're wanting to kind of dip your toe into sheet masking, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. That's a good brand to um, start with. Another good brand, and you can find these a lot of times at TJ Maxx and Marshall's bo boxes of them, and it's from Naster. And this is the red wine mask, and this was very hydrating, and I love the smell. Anything that has red wine, I just love the smell of it, so I did enjoy that. Then I have one for Ambosha, and this is the Wakami Firming Hydro Gel Mask. I really did like this, but, um, I and I usually do my sheet mask at night, and then in the morning, whatever the essence is left over, I will use as my essence step in my skincare. The problem with this is the makeup did not sit well on top of this at all. I mean, I was having so much peeling and balling up, it, and I know it was the essence from this, but I, I really liked it though. I did, and I did find this at TJ Maxx, so if I ever come across any more at TJ Mask, Mask, Max, I will get some of this. Okay, I think the last ones I'm gonna talk about because we've been talking about sheet mask and masking for a while. So I want to close out with these two guys right here. Oh my goodness. And I have some more of these and I'm gonna save them for winter because I think they're gonna be perfect, perfect for winter time when your skin really gets dry and dehydrated from the heat, from going in and out of the cold. Anyway, but these little guys are spendy they are they're spendy i'm not gonna lie they're expensive but oh my stars they are worth it and it's the shiseido benefique advanced mask and i have two of them that i used talk about some major major hydration moisturization feels so good um if you have oily skin I, I, did, I really don't think you're gonna like these unless in the winter time you get very dehydrated skin then you would but I would use it at night the one night for the mask and then for about two weeks after that there was enough product in here to put onto my face every single night as my moisturizer that's what I was using it. I was using it for my nighttime moisturizer. It's a very um, oil-based type essence in here. I mean, it is wonderful. I mean, it's even, even in this sheet right here, I can just feel how moisturized it. Oh, it just feels so good. I wish y'all could feel this. I just, I do. I wish y'all could feel how good this feels. And it is, it's like a really thick type oil that's in there oh, but it is so worth it um hello you gotta get out here and massage this out of my neck okay okay i'm back <laughs> man my husband came running in here um he's changing the lawnmower blades headed up on the ramps. I didn't know he was doing that or so I would have been out there helping him. But anyway, it fell and it caught him on the neck and it's pulled his neck. He's got this big like bulge right here. You can tell where his neck is like pulled out. So I got him in the hot shower, got him some muscle relaxers. Hopefully that will suffice. If not, we'll be making a trip to the emergency room. But for now, he's in a hot shower, so. Anyway, I was just talking about how good I really liked these Shiseido sheet mask. Definitely very moisturizing. I mean, you can still see on my hand how good it looks even after dealing with a hurt husband. So, recommend the sheet itself is very thick. Should be for the price of these. Um, anyway, I like them. I like them a lot and um, I did purchase a box of them at the outlet mall so they were discounted so that was good um, but when I go back probably this winter we're hoping to go back to Branson in October I'm probably gonna buy another box of those because I really really did like those but anyway so that is it for my mask reviews, I hope that you enjoyed and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.